Dead Week. The last week of April is aptly named this, as it is the most dangerous week for college students everywhere. It'll be due tomorrow. Sorry about that, but it is Dead Week. And that's how Dead Week works. This professor embodies the very soul of Dead Week. Profs teaming up to torture and slowly kill their students. This is too much, I'm going to die. Well, here's another one. This one's even worse than the other two. It's longer. There are more pages to type. Death by papers. Students wailing in the streets. So how do students make it through? Studies show there are three main techniques that students over the ages have employed to cope with the ever-increasing stress and dangerous conditions. Okay, I just have to get this done. I'm overwhelmed. I need to get this all done tonight because there's a homework every day and I just need to get everything done. I think they do. They wouldn't give it if they didn't expect this much work. It's about 20 hours a day and then I get a little bit of time by myself to get ready for school and then it's the same thing every day. Nope, just coffee. I'll eventually get to sleep. Right now it's fine. I mean, yeah, it's, it's good work. I'm doing it, so it's good. Just shh, I'm doing this. Yeah, usually in my dorm or sometimes 55th, wherever there's less people because no one can talk to me when I'm doing homework. I just ignore them and turn off my phone and don't talk to anybody. Yeah, I don't talk to anybody, no social media, nothing. Just get it all done right away. And then you're good. Once it's all done, then it's done. See how much he put on her desk this morning? It was just like paper after paper after paper. He doesn't realize how much else I have on my plate already. I've got three papers due next week, a presentation, and it's like, it's dead week. You're not even supposed to be assigning things. That's what the definition is supposed to be. It's supposed to be like dead, like no assignments or anything. I start out dead week by making a list of everything I have to do. And so I write it down on my computer so I can just look at it and be like, okay, I got all these things to do. And then, I mean, naturally I start freaking out because they're all on a piece of paper and it's like there's no way I can actually accomplish this. So I go around and I go like to the grill and I go to the library and I just, I talk with my friends. And then I was like, hey, I have to do like three papers tomorrow and then they can like back me up and be like, oh yeah, that's rough, that really sucks, man. I've also got like three papers due tomorrow. And then you can kind of like talk with each other and eventually you start like one-upping each other. Like you're like, I've got three papers. And they're like, well, I've got four papers and one of them's like 10 pages and then you go like, yeah, well, I also have to do a group project. They're like, oh man, that sucks. Always working, like, that can't be healthy for you. You need to get out and you need to socialize with your friends. Like, that's a lot of what college is about. It's about building relationships. Like, the relationships you build now, like, even more than just having friends, it's networking, you know? Honestly, it could be good opportunities in the future, and professors need to leave time for that. Because if you don't get out and meet people, like, what's the point of going to a big college? You may as well get an online degree, you know? You see, first of all, I don't think complaining is the right word. I feel like commiserating is a better word. Because, I mean, first of all, it builds community, like I was talking about before, and Dort's all about community, you know? But then I also read online that, like, talking about what you're going to do and saying you're going to do it is just as satisfying to the brain as actually doing it. It's so, like this whole process of talking to other people, it's like cathartic. It's actually helping you accomplish things and keeping you calm about the mountain load of things that you have to do. Like for example, my to-do list. If I just like look at it, it's gonna stress me out. But if I talk to someone about it, I'll be like, yeah, I'm gonna do all those things. It's gonna be great. And then it all works out. Oh, it was so terrible. But first, I didn't read them yet because I just wanted to sleep to take my, to take a rest and then 
rest my brain so that later I can work on well. So, uh, I didn't see them. I don't think that is a good idea. I mean, it's good for them to give their students to do something else during the, the, that, that week. But for students, I think it's... I think it's good for the students to have a time to rest instead of just doing all of the homework and then just like doing their writing or writing the papers, other stuff. I think it's better to take a rest so that they can just focus on the final exams. If they give the homework or other stuff during the, that week, it's really a week that they want to kill their students as a dead person. I usually focus on my own thing, which is sleeping. I just sleep more than used to so that I can just rest my brain and then release my stress and then focus and start doing my own things, the paper stuff. So I usually sleep. I used to sleep on my bed, but sometimes I sleep on the couch or if I really want to think of nothing, I just go out if the weather is good. I just go out and lie on the ground and just take an affair. I think they don't really matter if we do our work well, if I submit, submit the papers on time, or if I do the, if I did the exams doing well, then I think they don't really matter if I sleep a lot. Stay safe, stay alive, don't go into Dead Week uninformed.